Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the third uh, lecture today. Uh, now we'll talk about many things uh, in general view uh, in this lecture, number three. Uh, but of course, because before we start, we can uh, just uh, some points to remember uh, that gel view, as we said, uh, the main, the brain, uh, the primary function of uh, gel view is editing and visualization of sequence uh, alignment with other features also. And, and we also have to remember that web surface actually, uh, the, the tab web surfaces enable gel view to access, uh, to remote access uh, the second structure, prediction programs, and other and retrieve sequences and stuff, many, many other useful stuff. We will use uh, some of this stuff in the coming lectures. And uh, also we have to remember that actually GelView produce a very high quality uh, uh, figures uh, that is good for uh, publication. So you can have a very good alignment figure for your uh, alignment and even for your uh, uh, tree, multi, uh, phylogenetic tree or, or even PSA or whatever. Uh, we uh, also will see uh, that there is in gel view there is many coloring uh, capabilities uh, and uh, uh, and we will see that and uh, as we said production of high quality uh, graphics. Uh, in the beginning of gel view always we, we see an example uh, this example project help you to to understand uh, and see different feature of gel view uh, of course you can if you would like to open this uh, uh, or, or not open this uh, project every time uh, you can uh, have it you can change this from tools from the menu of tools and then preferences and open file you can uh, if you check it or uncheck it, you can choose whether to see or not to see uh, this uh, project file. Also, if you want to see the news or not see the news, uh, actually you can change that also from uh, the tools menu and then show gel view news or not to see gel view news depending on if you check or not check this uh, option. Uh, also, uh, I would like to remind you that if you need more uh, documentation or reading about gel view and and uh, understand more about different feature of gel view, uh, so you can uh, go to help and from the help uh, menu you can get uh, documentation and start to read more about uh, gel view. Uh, one of the good features of Direct View is the emailing list. So if you would like, you, you there is two emails, you can get all the news or discussion about Jal View. Uh, if you send an email uh, to uh, Jal View, discuss at jalview.org, this will provide uh, you uh, all the news uh, about, about all the discussion that's happening about Jal View and uh, uh, from users and developers and many other things. Also, if you would like to know all the new announcement uh, uh, for GelView, you can send an email to GelViewAnnounce at GelView.org. Uh, of course, this is how the email will look like. They will send you an email asking you whether to confirm your uh, uh, participation in that or not. Uh, uh, so, if you get an email like this, you have to confirm. If you confirm, this means that you would like to uh, be a part of the uh, of uh, the mailing list. Now we we'll come to the, the important part of uh, how to load your sequence. As we mentioned uh, in the last lecture, you have uh, many options to load your uh, sequence. Either drag drop or from file or from URL or cut and paste or from public dataset. Uh, simply drag drop, you can drag and drop your uh, sequence. So uh, you can uh, take it, copy, uh, drag it, and drop it in the uh, sequence uh, in, in the program. So this will open it. The other one is to uh, from file. From file actually uh, is uh, simply you can open a, a file and then input alignment and then press from file. And this, uh, when you press uh, from file, you can uh, include any file uh, you have. Of course, you, this file should be in FASTA format and should be a simple text file. 
uh, the second one is from URL from URL uh, when you press this option simply you have to put the URL uh, if you're uh, it's like HTML alignment or graphic or whatever so uh, this URL will uh, will include uh, uh, all your sequences that you'd like to input the third one is from from textbook this actually can be done by copy and paste or cut and paste your sequence in faster format or any recognizable format for uh, child view you can copy and or, or cut and then put it in the text uh, box that will be appeared when you press this option uh, you have another uh, uh, option which is fetch sequences fetch sequence simply can you can when you press this option uh, something like this will appear which which uh, allow you to put the uh, uh, allow you to put the accession number of your sequences so you can simply put uh, the accession number of your sequences and uh, separate it by semicolon and then press uh, retrieve or of course after selecting uh, the proper database which one you would like to uh, choose which one you retrieve uh, them from so and then press ok and retrieve then uh, you will get the sequence you want uh, in your own time try to exercise this to, uh, to uh, try to load your sequence try to put all the accession number that it's already in your exercise uh, and try to retrieve the sequences uh, from different databases uh, as you as we mentioned in the last uh, slide navigation is a very good part uh, uh, in uh, job view uh, with this navigation option you can navigate uh, uh, within your uh, alignment if you have a large alignment of course a navigation is a one of the good feature uh, of uh, uh, of gel view and you have two options to navigate inside gel view you have a normal mode which means that you can navigate with the mouse and you have the cursor mode which means that you can navigate with the uh, arrow key uh, arrow keys inside uh, your keyboard uh, and of course you can switch between normal mode and uh, cursor mode using uh, the f2 key uh, of course when you start up uh, you always start up uh, gel view with uh, the normal mode which means that you can use the mouse to move right and left and uh, of course you can drag uh, and move uh, with uh, uh, using the mouse in gel view uh, as as long as when you just start up gel view uh, to see uh, your uh, if you have a large alignment I would like to see you would like to see th this large alignment in a small window simply you can see something you can open something called overview window this overview window simply you can open it by uh, by opening the view window uh, this view uh, menu sorry when you open this view menu uh, you can uh, choose overview window this overview window will allow you to uh, to see your large alignment uh, and move uh, within this window to see the important part uh, of your alignment the, mo the most conservative part uh, will appear to you and also the other this important part will appear to you in a shaded part in a gray color but the colorful places that is more colorful uh, more conserved so you can see which part of your alignment are really conservative and which uh, to focus in and which parts are not uh, less important or less shaded so it means that maybe less conserved uh, this you, you can be done using this overview uh, window if you have many windows I would like and you would like to close all these windows at once you don't have to close one by one you can simply go to the window menu and then choose close all if you would like to navigate in, uh, using the cursor mode this means that you will use the arrows simply you can use the arrows up and down and uh, right and left uh, and of course to, to, to switch from, from normal wood which means that you will use the mouse to the cursor mode you simply press F2 uh, so okay now if you would like to go to jump to a sequence in a cursor mode 
to a specific sequence. For example, if you would like to go to sequence number n, so this simply you just write the number of the sequence. For example, sequence number 5, you write 5 and then press S. Then you will go to sequence number 5. So uh, to jump to sequence n, you put the number n and then go press S. This will lead you to uh, take you to the sequence number n. If you would like to go to column number n, and uh, you just put the number of the column, which n for example, and then press C. If you would like to go to residue inside the sequence, uh, so simply you put the number of the residue, the number of the residue, and then press P. If you would like to jump to the row, uh, to, to column number M and row N, so this is to go to a specific column and specific row. Simply you can put M, which is the, the column number, and then comma, and then the, the the row number, and then press return or enter in this case. So um, this will allow you to go, of course, uh, uh, to a specific column, to a specific uh, residue, to a specific uh, sequence, and in a, a cursor. Uh, mode. If you uh, further option also for navigation is to use a select and find function, and this is allow you to find specific place. Uh, for example, if you go to uh, find, which is uh, if you have a large alignment and you want to go specific place, very simply you can uh, you you can uh, write uh, the the first. Uh, numbers uh, or name of the of, of the your sequence and you can simply uh, open the select menu from the select menu you can press find uh, a dialog box will come up like this and you can put the what you are looking for and press find so it will go to the sequence that you are looking uh, for so this allow you if you have a large uh, and big alignment uh, simply you can search for specific sequence you are looking for for example for human for mouse for whatever sequence you're looking for you can go directly to that uh, sequence this exercise uh, try it in your own time this will allow you to uh, uh, practice some of these options and some of these uh, capabilities that will allow you to uh, uh, know more and be familiar with these capabilities uh, and, and try to uh, how to reload some sequences, how to scroll uh, using the, the, the cursor mode or even the, the normal mode or how, and how to get to and switch from more remote to cursor mode uh, and also of course how to move and how to reach specific position in your sequence specific column specific se uh, sequence uh, and, and and something like this anyway try to exercise in your own time and let's go to the next lecture